Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back aboard U96 as we continue our adventures in U-Boat. U96 has just departed La Rochelle and is currently transiting the Bay of Biscay heading towards her next mission objective. And that mission objective is to reach Portsmouth Port, and then our secondary objective is to stay undetected in the direct neighborhood of the port. Once we have infiltrated the port, our task is to sink two enemy ships, corvette sized or larger. I do think the hardest part is going to be reaching the port and getting in there. I have a feeling that's going to be kind of difficult, uh, considering we have to go through the English Channel. My course I have plotted here keeps us pretty close to the French coast, because I do want to avoid as much of the Allied ASW aircraft and warships as possible. English Channel is quite treacherous for U-boats, uh, so this should be very, very interesting. U-96 has seen a upgrade since we last spoke as well. And it's really in the storage room here. And here we go. Sonar decoys bold. This decoy can be ejected through pill launchers in the stern torpedo room to create a false target for enemy sonars. And these were really just canisters filled with calcium hydride. And they were launched out the back. And when they mixed with water, it would create a whole bunch of bubbles. And like it said, it would confuse uh, allied sonar operators. So this will prove to be quite helpful, especially when we're <laughs> trying to escape a situation that is quite sticky, uh, like infiltrating Portsmouth Port, I do expect. Other than that, the boat is in tip-top shape. I just turned on this pump right before I started recording, and we already have water in the bilge, probably because of these choppy seas. Some water came up over the conning tower, and with the hatch open, it just spilled in, so that's fine. <clears throat> we can get this fella to sleep. Yeah, go to bed, go to bed, Osterman. You do not need to be awake. And in the bow torpedo room, let's take a look. We have a mixture of T1 and T2 torpedoes. Currently, all T1 torpedoes are loaded up in the tubes. And then in the stern torpedo room, we have uh, just T2 torpedoes back there. We are also researching G7E torpedoes, the T3 variants, which are really just more streamlined and improved version of the T2 torpedoes we are currently using. Other than that, that's all I really have to report. We did take a lot of food this time around, especially after I almost starved my crew to death in the previous episode. So I figured I would take a little bit extra, even though I expect this will be a shorter patrol than the previous one. Other than that, everything on board is hunky-dory. Nothing really exciting to report. I did add one mod, which uh, made the map contact updates for all the other ships uh, just grayed out. And speaking of the map, I figured I would share this in our recent dev update. And they said they are working on overhauling the map. So it'll have the Kriegsmarine grid marks and it'll be top down and uh, more of a paper material. So it'll definitely be a much needed improvement from the current map. Um, that's a comment I get quite a lot. People do not like the style of map. And I, I have to kind of agree. I, I mean, it's OK, but it's nothing to really write home about. So. Anyway, I figured that was cool, and I figured I would share that with you folks. U96 is going to continue her journey towards the English Channel. I'm sure once we enter the English Channel, we'll start seeing all sorts of contacts, and it's going to get kind of hairy, so stay tuned for that. Okay, well, we are hanging out right along the French coast, just entering the English Channel, and we have a visual contact down to the south of us. Let's go ahead and mark this location and see what is going on. I also get my radio operator on duty. He actually doesn't need a friend with him. Neither do any of these guys. Let's unassign these extra sailors. Okay, visual contact. Shoot that off to BDU. We'll change course and head south towards the, the projected target. Looks like this enemy, another visual contact. Okay, another message to BDU. Mark, also mark this one. Try to get a course going. Adjust speed, both engines ahead full. Yeah, it looks like they're both kind of following the same course here. Heading southwest. We'll see if we can figure anything out. 
may have to go full speed and let's assign another crewman in the diesel engine room. I'll head flank. Okay, visual contact. It's a U-boat. Of course it is. Okay, well, oh, in that case, I have a feeling this other one is a U-boat as well. It seems like a lot of these single contacts are just U-boats at this point. Um, it may be a tad bit overdone, but it's still cool to find them out here nonetheless. Anyway, we'll continue back on our merry way. If uh, this other visual contact here is a merchant ship, I'm sure this U-boat, this Type 7C, is tracking it and will hunt it down. Anyway, we'll reduce speed, stop burning so much fuel, and uh, continue onward. Okay, we just got another visual contact of a tiny group right here. Let's start moving towards it quite quickly and just to see. I have a feeling it's another U-boat. <laughs> uh, it seems that that's all these little tiny groups are. Let's see. Okay. Yep, just another Type 7 CU boat. Heading the same course as the other two. Okay, well, anyway. Uh, it seems to be a very popular U-boat route, it would seem. Anyway, we'll keep heading towards Portsmouth. I just figured I would start recording just in case this was a, a juicy merchant ship. But nope, just another sub. Well, I would say U-96 is currently in the neighborhood of Portsmouth. It's currently 11 o'clock in the morning, and here is our current location. I'm going to kind of meander around down here just to kill off some time, because I do want to enter the port at night. I definitely do not want to raid a port in broad daylight like uh, right now. So we're just heading down at slow speed, kind of just hanging out, waiting for nightfall, and then we'll make our attack. Our journey through the English Channel has been extremely uneventful, have not seen anything besides... Actually, I, I do want to say we did find another U-boat. So we have seen, what, four U-boats in the English Channel? Uh, but other than that, no British ships, no British uh, aircraft or warships. So I'm not complaining. I'm surprised. But uh, this has been smooth sailing thus far. Hopefully the port raid goes well as well. Okay, the sun is now starting to set. So we've increased speed and are now heading straight towards Portsmouth. I wonder how close I'll be able to get to the port while on the surface. It'll, it'll be a nice little experiment, I suppose. Let's go full speed. We want to attack with uh, as much darkness as possible. So we can make our escape under the cover of darkness as well. Use some time compression and head towards the port itself. Going 15 knots pretty quick. Okay. Time to time to man your battle stations. I know it's nighttime, but uh, you know what, Skipper? Time to get on the Uzo. Hey, everyone's kind of where I want them to be. I do want my radio operator. What Hans on the uh, radio? And we're getting pretty close. 15 kilometers out. I may want to start thinking about submerging soon. I am curious to see how close we'll get though. I'm honestly surprised we have not spotted a single allied warship yet. We've been mighty lucky. See, it's uh, quite a bright night, but it'll do. Better than attacking in broad daylight. I guess the, I can't see it, but I'm guessing the moon's up there somewhere. As it's still getting a little darker, it's currently 2200 hours. Okay, continue moving towards the target area. Make sure our torpedoes are warmed up. And we can also, we can do some crew management now. Let's also rig for red. Okay, switch on the red light. Okay, torpedoes are not warmed up, but we will start doing that now. Okay. Get him working on that. And he's back in bed. Guess I have to tell him to do, do all of them. That's fine. Want those torpedoes ready to rock and roll once we get in the port. I 
and watch them preheat them there. Getting nice and close. Let's reduce speed to standard. There we go. Warm up to one. Perfect. Okay. We're around one kilometer out. I think now is time to dive and we're not rigged for red. I thought I ordered that. There we go. Rigged for red. Let's drop down to periscope depth. I'll also get a Odlorp. Odlorp? <laughs> I don't know how to say that, but Oldorp. We'll get him on the dive sears, the dive plane, so he can watch over. Make sure our conning tower doesn't peak above the surface while in the port, and that would be disastrous for us. And still, we are. Turn on the red light. Let's go. Jeez, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. And now get on the dive planes. Thank you. Okay. Switch to electric engines as well. Forward two. Perfect. And we will get Hans on the hydrophones. There we go. Entering the British coast area. Have our periscope up. Still have not picked anything up, which is okay. Here, okay. <laughs> uh, that's what I get. Um, they're coming straight for me. Let's change course slightly. Drop down to slow speed. That's a bit closer than I would have liked. It looks like a Corvette here. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of Corvettes. Yeah, it looks like motor torpedo boats. Yeah, it looks like these little guys have uh, some depth charges on the side as well. Exciting. Exciting stuff. Okay. In that case, let's turn off our gyro compass. We want to be pretty quiet. Get off of the... Go in the radio room or something. Do not be on the observation scope. Okay. They are slowly sailing away. Oh, God. Okay. We're fine. Oh, situation normal? <laughs> they made that little zigzag turn and it kind of scared me for a bit. Okay. Looks like we have maneuvered past them successfully. We'll have to keep in mind that there is a coastal patrol operating in this area when we try to make our escape. Okay. Another Corvette. Okay, they're down there. Perfect. Okay, they're out of visual range now. Let's increase speed slightly and try to get into the port. Oh my gosh, there's more. Okay, go back. Okay. A little more intimidating than expected. They're just sailing around though. I'm not I don't think these motor torpedo boats really have uh any way of picking us up. Still, good to know they are out and about. More propeller noises. Okay, two to four. Is this another coastal defense patrol? Okay. A bit more than I was expecting. The circling. Oh, brother. Okay, lower the periscope. Get that thing down. Yeah. They're doing some searches. Okay. They're gone. Sailing off. Okay. You can raise the scope again. Oh. Bit more uh bit more than I was expecting to be honest. Three patrols going out now. It's just, and it's eighteen past midnight. Because that's the lighthouse in the port. Yeah, there we go. Getting nice and close. How far away are we now? It's like around seven kilometers. Another patrol. Okay, and that patrol with the Corvettes is returning. Which I'm not a fan of. Could try to torpedo one of them. But then we have... Uh, I guess the two main things I'm worried about are the Corvettes. The, mo the motor torpedo boats I'm not too scared of. 
Although I probably should be. Okay, we have officially made it to Portsmouth. Sink two Corvette size or larger ships. I suppose I, this one could count, right? Okay, send that to BDU. Let them know we're here. We have arrived. Another, okay, there they are. It looks like, yeah, the two, the two forces are merging. Okay, they're off, perfect. Yeah, the Corvettes are definitely what I'm worried about because it is so shallow. If I mean, if we look out here, I don't know if you can see it, but we are just barely skimming the seabed. Uh, not what I would call ideal conditions for evading warships. Crew's doing okay. No one's too tired. Wolf is getting a little tired. Another defense patrol. Okay, it's down to the south. Shoot that off. Send us a BDU. Okay, as long as they're not in this little cove with us, we're okay. If they if they started sailing into the bay with us in here, I would uh, I would be concerned. I would certainly be concerned about that. But thankfully, they seem to be uh, just patrolling outside of the bay. Look at all of them. Oh my gosh. Two, four, six coastal patrols. That is nuts. That is nuts. Send that to BDU. Absolutely crazy. S still haven't spotted any enemies? Let me get on here. Go. Swing our periscope around. See what we got in the port itself. Some cliffs. There's the lighthouse. Okay, there's a destroyer, a corvette maybe. Warship. Feindlicher Zerstörer auf. Zwei Uhr. Okay, apparently there's a deck uh a coastal gun or something there. Okay, nothing too crazy. So far, just one destroyer and one corvette. Another coastal gun. There's another warship on the other side of this, uh... This dock. And it looks like there's quite a few... F yeah, there's two on the other side here. Okay. Interesting. So you need to use some time compression. Try to get in nice and close. Two Corvette size or larger ships. Okay, we have a destroyer here. A B class and Isles class. They're identifying them for me. That's kind of nice. Okay, another Corvette right there. If I just have to sink the two Corvettes. Okay, let's turn in. You think Corvettes will take just one torpedo? I'm right our midships here. I think we can torpedo this one and this one here. They seem to be in pretty good spots. Maybe even... The problem is this destroyer is just at such a bad angle. Without magnetic torpedoes, I don't know if we'll be able to pull it off. Okay, yeah, let's take a look. It's a probable target. Let's see, let's see. Okay, that's definitely a target. Locked on target. Let's try to identify it. It's weird that they were identified before, but now they're not. It's definitely a Corvette. I don't think it's a flower class. I think it's one of the, yeah, the aisles. Okay. We do want to get a range to target. Looks like there's something on the other side of it there. Set. Yeah, there's another flag. That may just be a flag on a structure or something, but okay, anyway. Okay, 1,000, just over one kilometer out. Okay, so we want this turned on and following. Angle on bow, almost pretty much 90 degrees to starboard there. Speed zero knots, range just over one kilometer. Speed of the torpedo set to 44 knots, bow torpedo. Perfect. Angle on bow, everything's looking good. Everything's tracking normally. Not that we really need any of it since the target's not moving. And our torpedoes aren't preheated. God. Get on. Start. Start warming up the torpedoes. Warm up tor tube two. 
Let's make it quick. Make it snappy. All right, we're golden. Open this up. Angle on bow. Perfect, perfect. Oh, angle on bow is not as great. It should be sufficient. Range is obviously much lower. 800 meters should be fine. Bring this up. Tube 2 flood. Speed 44 knots. Use the... Use the solution from the TDC. Check one more time. 44 knots. Everything's looking good. Good, good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Tube 2 Los. Yep. Torpedo away. Now should I fire at another? I'm thinking I will, even though they're not preheated, which is just annoying. Thought I... I would have hoped that would have lasted a bit longer, but anyway, we have a flower class here. Gone target. Flower class. Recognize. Range the target. Line the water line up with the mass. Set. 1.3. Perfect. On bow. That actually looks okay. 1.3. Set. Speed 44 knots. Okay, we got one. Flood tube 3. Speed 44 knots. Draft. We'll bring it up to 2 meters. Serious damage on that enemy ship. We'll take a look at it here momentarily. Tube 3. Los. Yeah, tube 3 is running towards the target. There we go. That flower class, or the Isles class, is now in flames. Not looking very good at all. Tube 1 is now preheated. Do I want to fire at this V class? Let's take a look. She has sear. Oh, yeah. She does not look good at all. Definitely seen better days. Well, hopefully, that'll be enough to sink her. See if this uh, other torpedo runs towards our our target here. We'll find out. Oh, it did hit. Torpedo impact. Wow, that was brutal. Oh, and she's going down fast. That flower class is done for. Okay. Uh, coastal defense patrol spotted. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, this one's still not sinking. Oh, what's going on there? Looks like they're manning the lifeboats. Okay. Do I fire another one at this? Uh... Oh, it looks like they're manning the lifeboats as well. Or so they're doing something. Oh, that's the same ship. Oh, no, they are. Hmm, to fire another one or not. So what is that on the other side there? I guess that's just a regular old destroyer. I'm not sure if we'll get credit for this. That's the problem. I do want to get my credit. Okay, we need to act now or get the heck out of here. Okay, they're all shooting off radio messages, which is not good. Lock on this target. On bow. So, we'll see what we get here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Range is probably the same, just around one kilometer. Open up tube one, speed 44 knots. Yep. Depth two meters. Okay, tube one. Close. There we go. Torpedo away. Looks like it's heading towards the target. We're aiming at this one. I think I may fire just one more so we actually get our mission accomplished. And the power started flickering a lot, so I managed to get a quick save in, and our torpedo that we launched at the destroyer was a dud. Okay, well, you know what? In order to finish our uh, two Corvette goal, we are going to fire another one at this here vessel. Oh, did not mean to do that. Get back on there. There we go. Lock on target. Pull up our TDC. I'm going to adjust this, angle on bow 90, speed 0, range 700 meters, should be fine. I can turn this on, bow torpedoes, set speed to 44 knots, bring up this menu. We want to use the information provided by the TDC, flood tube 4, speed 44 knots, depth 2 meters, should be sufficient. Once the tube is flooded, we'll fire and begin reversing and try to get out of here. Alright, tube 4 flooded, tube 4 los. Okay. Tube four away. Begin reversing the boat. Let's lower our periscope as well. 
Okay, time to get the heck out of here before that uh, defense convoy or defense patrol shows up. Really rather not tangle with them. I can't see our torpedo, it's so dark. So let's take a, oh, there we go. Torpedo impact. And that, <laughs> the Corvette went down like a rock after that. Probably, probably overkill. Um, I hear gunfire. Leave you. They can't be shooting at me, right? No way they can see me. Okay, well, time to time to run from the law. Let's keep moving. I'm hearing lots of gunfire, which is very concerning, uh, to be honest. Okay, we finally managed to turn the boat completely around, and we're now heading forward, or attempting to. The boat is slowing down, and I think we may be able to escape here scot-free. Sorry, I had to pause there. The weather's getting pretty wild here. So uh, I was just checking all that out. Anyway, we are heading out, and it looks like this fast attack craft is heading our way, which is less than ideal. Okay, let's drop speed down. Getting out of here is going to be an absolute pain in the ass. Okay, the fast attack craft is coming close. Let's turn... Okay, it's off. Our gyro compass is already off. Make sure that's off. Perfect. Hopefully this motor torpedo boat. I don't think it has any means of detecting a submerged submarine, but I suppose it could just come right over the top, huh? And drop some depth charges. Okay, it's running right in front of us. Okay, we're going to continue to make our way out. It seems this uh, PT boat has maneuvered away now. All right, we're getting out of here. We're, we're making, we're doing work. Let's start moving quick. Try to get out of the area as quickly as possible. It's currently three o'clock in the morning. Okay, I think we're in a good position to surface the boat and try to make our great escape. We have the periscope up looking for targets and it doesn't seem like there's anything in visual range. So let's go ahead and do it. I'll head flank speed out of here. Surface the boat. And the boat is rising nicely. The moment of truth. We'll see if we're too close to the enemy now. I'll kick it over to the diesels. All ahead flank. Turn on our diesel compressor as well to recharge our compressed air. Stations are empty. Okay, that's been remedied. Okay, perfect. Okay, U96 says surfaced after a long night in Portsmouth. And we are making progress, going 18 knots out of the area. I have to say, I think we have escaped, but we shall see. And we'll head back to La Rochelle, plot a course that way, and uh, report back to BDU. Report our success of two Corvettes sunk. Um, nothing too exciting. I was kind of hoping we'd find some juicy tankers or freighters in there, but it was just a bunch of warships. Well, we have successfully completed our patrol. I just sent the radio message to BDU. And as you can see, we are going to exit the English Channel now. I'll get back to you folks when we're out of the English Channel. I suppose we can kind of patrol the North Atlantic and try to find some convoys out here and see what trouble we can stir up. We still have quite a few torpedoes left and all that good stuff. So there's still plenty of opportunity to, um, to sink some enemy ships. So with that, we'll uh, use time compression, just sail out of the English Channel. We did get some transmissions in the port. Got a new visual contact. It's just a tiny group though, so I'm, I'm sure it's a U-boat. I'm not even gonna check at this point. <laughs> but anyway, get you in bed as well and uh, get everyone rested up. And we're pretty much out of the English Channel. I'm not too worried about it. So uh, we'll head off into the North Atlantic and try to sink some more shipping. Well, I suppose that'll do it for this video, though. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, as it really does help out the channel. Anyway, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you all on the next one.